this battle about should we let the software drive or the person drive, it's interesting. What we really want is to be more intelligent about our driving as a system. That's how we're going to reduce road fatalities and injuries. That's how we're going to improve our fuel economy and have a better experience on the roads overall. The way to do that, I believe, is with a lot more technology than we have now. A lot smarter software, a lot more sensing, a lot more mapping, and a lot more communication of all the elements inside the system. The E-Class is uh, the most intelligent business limousine. Uh, the driver can completely rely on the system uh, based on uh, a lot of sensors, stereo camera, radar sensors, ultrasonic sensors. Uh, the car by itself recognizes lines, the car in front of you, if there is a car coming from behind. With the new E-Class, uh, Mercedes is continuing its leading uh, development of autonomous driving uh, with a big new step. Uh, this vehicle is now basically fully autonomous uh, on freeways and highways um, up to high speeds. It even can change lanes, um, but uh, of course the legislator is still restricting us somewhat to what of these capabilities we can give into customer hands. An intelligent car for me is one that can get the person and the cargo from point A to point B better, faster, safer, cheaper than before. And if the person in that car wants that journey to be more exciting, to enable that capability as well. Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing.